as I said there, they must love this. Absolutely. I mean, it's the buzz. It's what everyone's talking about on the internet this morning, and they've, they've already achieved their aim, which is we are talking about John Lewis, and we're talking about it in a kind of a positive way. Uh, and that's what these Christmas adverts are all about. Well, they've nowadays. been feeding this out for a few days. Yeah, this little thing. tiny online snippets. It's mad. They? Adverts for adverts. Yeah. Um, so so is this, I mean, because when you look at that, obviously there's the trampoline. So is that going to be the big Christmas present? Are we all going to go out and buy trampolines? Or is this more about the brand, really? It is all about the brand and how fuzzy we feel towards the brand. Because in the old days, we'd go down to the Christmas windows in the high street. Yeah. And we'd see, you know, fantastic this Selfridges or John Lewis or Debenhams. But a lot of us now do our shopping online. So this is the sort of digital shop window for all these brands. And we're more fickle than we've ever been. We're prepared to click around. So if they can get us talking about their brand, and then even better, sharing it on Facebook or on Twitter, then job done. And that's what everybody's doing. I mean, the, the, it's pinged up on my phone about five times this morning. Have you seen this? It's the new ad, it's the new ad. So, um, what, what is it that, that is the most important part of a campaign like this, appearing on the telly or the rollout online? Yeah, it's now online. Oh, that's all CGI. Yeah. The, the bouncing on the trampoline, no foxes were, were involved. There is a real dog, but apparently he wasn't a real dog when he was bouncing. bouncing. And anyone who actually knows urban foxes they wouldn't be bouncing cutely like that no they wouldn't. tearing it to shreds they'd be going through your bins <laughs> yeah, probably making it a right old mess um, um, how much does it cost to have a prime time advert right so that's around about two hundred thousand pounds if you're going for the blockbuster for how long x factor that's only 30 seconds <gasps> that's in prime time x factor and the full length of that is longer than oh, it's two seconds. minutes long yeah. so that will only play once or twice on telly but then john lewis and all the other retailers can tell that you watch it on tv and you then go online to see the full length version so in fact now bizarrely the television is acting as a showcase for the full online version so how did they end up bubbling to the top that they Theirs is the one that we all wait to see. Never well, used to do adverts. So when they first started, they went for the emotional. They didn't mention the brand, mm. didn't mention any, any products. Do you remember the boy on the swing? Yeah. Desperately waiting for Christmas, not oh. to get a present, but to no, give a present. That's I know, so I sweet. Know, I like that one. Um, and the song, the music, I mean, that is key to these adverts, isn't it? Uh, because that music then plays, that music could then uh, go on to become Christmas number one, which it has done in the past. How important is that to the ad? It's really important. I don't really like this this one. <gasps> the vaults will be gutted. Well, it's not the vaults' problem. I don't like the original. It's already a slow song. They used to take quite snappy pop songs, then slow it down. That was the trademark formula mm. for John Lewis. I quite like it. It's OK, but it's but already a slow song. They slowed it down even more. If it gets more. to Christmas number one, I think it's about 10 to 1. If it gets to Christmas number one when you hear that song, you think about the yes. ad. Yeah. Uh, but this one's happier this year. Yes. Is that, do you think, conscious? They've said, I spoke to them yesterday, so this is a purposeful decision that they don't think people want to have a cry anymore. We've had a miserable year, you know, David Barry died, Terry Wogan, it's been, it's been terrible. And then Donald Trump, of course, they didn't know this was going to happen, but they think people want to smile this year, so they've gone for a smile rather than a cry. What about other brands? Because they must all be competing for this now. They've seen sort of th that spot where people want to see these Christmas adverts. Are they all competing for this title now? Oh, yes. I mean, do, do you remember Sainsbury's a couple of years ago did one in, in the World War One trenches? Yes, that was really good. Yeah, the war to end all wars. And buy some chocolate. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was good. Yeah. And memorable, that's yes. the key. These have all got to be memorable and sticking your And Aldi. Mind. So Aldi's proving how they've kind of gone up the rankings. They've got quite a weird tale about a carrot, Kevin the carrot, who has to escape from being burnt. He wants to get eaten by Rudolph. It's fun. It's fun. He wants to get eaten by Rudolph. Yes, way that's to his go. mission in life. <laughs> <laughs> but they're good. Yeah, they all so they, they spend an awful lot of time and money. I mean, these have been planned all year. They were starting this back in January. Well, and, they're, and they're not just talked about now. They can be talked about in you know, in years to come. The um, the yellow pages under the mistletoe. That yeah, was that was yeah. 1992. Oh, that was a great one. I mean, it's it's, it's obviously in, incredibly commercial, but uh, but the uh, the John Lewis one. And they've quite cleverly t team up with charities, and it's the Wildlife Trust this year as well. It is, so and a lot of retailers now do, do this. That. Yeah, I mean, the Sainsbury's one in, in the trenches was for the British Legion. Yeah. So, it, you know, and that sort of negated anything, any qualms we had that they were trying to shift chocolate bars through using mm. World War One. So it's quite a clever, and it's a good way, again, of adding a bit of emotional punch. All right, good. good. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much.